Virgo, welcome into your reading. We're reading for the uh, first into second week of um, November. So those of you that are new, welcome into my channel. Welcome in, welcome in. All right, and as always, I'm going to suggest and recommend that you listen to your moon and your rising as well as your Venus sign to get a good picture as to what's going on in your world. All right, so let's see. Um, and like I said to most, I, I've, I've always said this to my audience, I don't timestamp anything because time and energy is fluid. So if you resonate with the title and the first 10 minutes of the video, great. But the more cards I drop, the more the story that unfolds to me anyway. All right, let's see what's happening here. And also, just to begin this conversation, this is the year of the sixes. Happy New Year's. And the sixes are a universal year about, um, like if you're into numerology and all of that. Outcome, please, for Virgo. First week, come on, pop you out. Um, the, it's about lovers because six is represented by the lovers. So this year we're going to have a lot of divorces and a lot of marriages. Some of you might do both. Get divorced and get remarried. One and the same. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Um, at the bottom of the deck, Virgo, I magically have you, the Virgo card, Hermit. You're taking a time out. You're going into retreat mode um, to come up with something, to decide on something from what it looks like here. Because it looks like you had a passionate new beginning, potentially with another earth sign like yourselves. Somebody that you're investing time and energy with. Um, and you might be having a passionate new beginning and you're very excited and you're very happy. But you've climbed up a little bit here. Why? Or someone did. Went into full-blown Virgo mode. Your situation is the two of pentacles. Somebody here is balancing two energies, meaning two situations. It, guys, you can apply this to work also. So main hustle, side hustle, two people, uh, one person, and they're in and out of your life sometimes. That's what the two pentacles is. It's a juggling of back and forths. The six of cups, and I'm starting to sense that because with the six of swords, I'm sorry, not cups. Six of swords um, is somebody leaving leaving uh, difficult waters going on to smoother, calmer waters. Uh, the High Priestess, Pisces card, um, being intuitive here. Possibly, potentially, you stop talking to somebody here between the High Priestess and Hermit over there and the Eight of Swords because you feel stuck. You feel stuck in your mind, that is, because you're not really truly stuck. It's in your head. You just haven't figured out the solution yet, Virgo. So you're over here staying silent, you're staying quiet, you're in and out of this relationship or this person, or you're juggling a situation because um, you feel stuck and you don't know what to do. So you're trying to use your internal wisdom and your intuition to make a decision here, point blank. We're going to clarify and we'll see what's going on here. What is coming towards you is this page of pentacles in reverse. This is a lack of learning. This is uh, You could be dealing with a child that you're having a problem with right now. Others of you, this is a job that fell through. Um, this is an apprenticeship that didn't happen. This is like some of you leaving school also. This is you not... Um, it's also in a relationship where you might have hit a roadblock. Stagnation. Boredom. There's a roadblock here for me is what it feels like. Uh, yeah, and what you don't see coming is the two of swords being stuck again between a rock and a hard place, not knowing what, what to choose, which path, between people, between careers, between jobs, between one person, because there's an in and out here and feeling stuck. Um, and there's like, maybe you're bored, some of you guys, others of you, you you've hit a stumbling block here with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Your advice is the Seven of Wands to defend yourself or possibly potentially resist something you see her? She's resisting. In your outcome, I have the King of Swords. The King of Swords, you might be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Others of you, it doesn't have to be that Zodiac. It's just somebody here who's very cerebral, who's mind over matter, who's um, very intelligent, very smart. Intelligent conversations could be very calculating, but not exactly calculating. Um, just because it's in the upright position and it's not in the... In the um, reverse 
But the fact that he has his sword up is also like, it's like arming your gun, but you have the safety valve on. So it's like you have the sword up. The sword you have up because either you're going to cut something out or, you know, you're going to put the sword down and have a conversation. You're thinking. You're in that place of thinking with you being in Virgo mode and the high priestess and the two of swords. You're thinking, which one's the right call? Do I cut this person out or do I put the sword down and continue? Let's see. Let's clarify. And you could be dealing with an air sign, of course. So what is this two of pentacles? The six of swords, the eight of swords, and the high priestess. So you're trying to use your intuition in order to make a decision here. Oh my God, I'm like sitting on my bed and I'm like <laughs> bouncing as I'm shuffling. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at this. You two are in the same energy. So if this isn't you, if this isn't your person, this could also be you. This could be your energy. And I say that because the Queen of Swords just came out. And I know this is you. You're doing the same thing as this person is. You're trying to come in from out of the cult. So you're trying to do the same thing. You're trying to be mind over matter. My sword is up too, bitch. Say what? Yeah, you too? You got your sword up? Me too. <laughs> That's what you're doing, Virgo. You're like, I need to come in from out of the cult. There's no reason for me to be out in the cult. So I'm going to take a time out. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to use my intuition. And I'll let you know what my sword decides to do. Either cuts you out too and I move on. Or I we put down our swords and we speak. Okay? Because you guys are encaps, encapsulating the same energy. Let me see what fell on the floor. You guys are encapsulating the same energy. I repeat myself. You are the king and queen of swords. Do you not see this? This is your match, and you're both identically doing the same thing to one another. But he is facing you. Okay, so one of you is facing the, your partner while the other person is kind of like, talk to the hand. But you're of the same le level. You're of the same caliber. You are both king queens. It is not like you're dating somebody below your value or your worth or vice versa, this person also. You're both coming from the same place, but what the fuck happened? Did you hit like a, a, a brick wall? I mean, you're trying to come in from out of the cold. And I don't, and, and it's possible because you guys are the king and queen of swords. You're communicating, which is gr it's great if you ask me. That's the situation. You're making a judgment call, and but so is so are they. What is this page of pentacles in reverse? And this is a lack of offer also lack of an offer. It's Page of Pentacles in reverse. I don't like the Page of Pentacles in reverse. It's very immature. Yeah, it's getting you stuck with the it's just showing me the hangman, but I got all kinds of cards on the on the table telling me you're stuck. All kinds of cards. Um, but the Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Swords and the Chariot, the Cancer card. Um, again, your Eight of Swords is coming out again, feeling mentally stuck. But regardless that you're stuck, the one positive note that I see here, Virgo, is that you're remaining focused. Like somehow you can stay focused to do what you need to do to persevere in your life. Like you're moving on. You just don't care. You're like, all right, I'll figure it out eventually. Um, and this is in regards to marriage, too. This is about your marriage or about getting married, okay? And the lack of offer in it. This is what I see. So maybe you're not talking about it and this has like gotten you stuck and you, you've hit a roadblock and that's why I see the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Roadblock. Two of Swords. You're like, okay, this person's not talking marriage. Where is this going? Yeah. High Priestess again at the bottom of the deck. You went radio silent. You took a step back. This is the, you're, Virgo, I'm reading for the Virgo that's dealing with somebody who took a step back here, okay, to assess their, their relationship. That's who I'm talking to here. 
okay and the ace of wands in reverse this is a, a lack of passion uh it's a failure to launch in a passionate new beginning or it's not coming in in regards to an engagement and that's like look at this right and, I, and I'm pretty sure this is who I'm reading for because, again, with the High Priestess, this is also, you're, you're going into spiritual mode too, Virgo. Like, look at you over here with Hermit and High Priestess down here and the Two of Wands below that because you need to make an intuitive decision, at least in your mind. What you don't see coming is the Two of Swords. You see yourself right there blindfolded. The White Blindfold talks about your purity, your, your sincerity, you know, like the really, truly, what do you do? You're holding on to Two Swords, right? On one side, it's the lack of a passionate new beginning or a failure to launch in a situation. What is that? It's potentially moving in with somebody. It's potentially getting engaged. This is a shit or get off the pot story. Or at least you're thinking about this, Virgo. Because on one side, it's like the, the lack of ignition for a passionate new beginning. And over here is getting married and getting engaged. It can be extreme, the, the opposite. Like, you know, maybe it's being proposed to you and you don't know if you want to get engaged to this person. Why am I looking at the seven of wands? Defend yourself. That just came out of my mouth like super fast. I do that because people who channel messages through tarot... To be unbiased, it's usually the very first thing that you hear in your head or you see in your head. So I, I say it like I've got Tourette's. So for me to do that, that means this is what spirit wants you to do. They want you to defend yourself. It could be also resisting something. What's the seven of wands, please? What's the seven of wands? I'm going to take the top two cards if you don't come out. Yeah, it's about communication for sure. Oh my God, yeah. Look at this, seven of wands. It's totally about communicating your standards, your needs, your wants, your worth, your value, who you are. Defend yourself, okay? And communicate this loud and clear with the eight of wands. You need to take action is what the, the your spirit guides are telling Virgo, you need to take action here. And how you're going to take action is you're going to communicate yourself by defending yourself, okay? Look at this. The Knight of Swords in reverse back here. Lack of communication. So you guys need to have a conversation because you guys are of the same equal value. You know, you're, you, you, you're the king to your queen and the queen to your king of swords here. Um, and your advice is telling me you need to defend your actions and or you need to pipe up. You know, I, I think I had this conversation with, like, I don't know who I was reading for. Maybe it's you guys, the Earth Signs, where I was saying, like, oh, I, I spent my summer with a Capricorn, and we were going through a bunch of islands together. And, you know, like, just talking on the beach, she was having problems with her boyfriend. He was, like, pulling away from her, like, stagnating from her. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Maybe he was, didn't know, you know, if he was getting serious with her or not. And, you know, she was very hurt and she was very torn and she was very sad and, you know, very confused and things like that can make us do all kinds of things. But, you know, she's like, you know what? Fuck him. I'm so valuable. I'm so amazing. I love myself. That energy, she put it out there. It became part of her aura. And she started attracting, like, uh, men like magnets. Zoop, 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 come into her because that was the energy she was putting out there. And she was so happy and excited to just be herself normal. She wasn't doing anything wrong. She was just, you know, being nice. But she was also, you know, loving herself and knowing her worth, knowing her value. And, you know, of course, her, her, her man that was giving her shit came running back towards her. Oh, my God, yeah, I want to marry you. R really? Because you weren't acting that way, like, these past few weeks. <laughs> That's the point. This is, like, a thing of how you can defend yourself here. Your actions, your worth, your value. I mean, maybe you're giving somebody here an ultimatum and maybe you got to. Because you don't want to stay stuck here. This is not the land of wanting to live in this gray area. Oh, I'll be I'll be with you until you figure it out. Uh, no, time waits for no man. <laughs> What's this king of swords and the outcome? I 
oh my god sometimes i get these messages from people like i have this on and off with somebody for 12 years what 12 years why are you allowing this to go on when somebody could just be with you for 12 years happily without stressing you out and without being in and out that's why we sometimes need to defend ourselves and and do give ultimatums because we need to move on you know everybody processes pain also differently you know and how they and this is what you're doing here what's coming towards you you're remaining focused you have an agenda you have a life you have life fucking goals and plans and that's what you're doing for go here and i love it and i love you very much for it um and you're and you know they're like keep to your vision stand up for yourself here what is this uh, king of swords back here in your outcome and I'm not saying you're dealing with a bad person. I'm just telling you what you need to do on your end to get what you want and to go where you need to go. Take a leap of faith towards this person. Alexa, stop. You need to take a leap of faith over here with this and i have aries here and you could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius but it's saying take a leap of faith towards your person trust them or just you know go for it give them the ultimatum take up basically the fool here is telling me you need to take a risk with this person whatever it is it's no time to play it safe but because i see at the bottom of the deck the knight of pentacles which is you this has been going slow and steady towards a marriage towards a relationship Slow and steady wins the race, but now's the time to take a risk by defending yourself is what it's saying. Because under the bottom of the deck, you have the, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, slow and steady, the non-flaky Knight, marriage, Hierophant, and under that, the Empress, family, starting one with the Ace of Pentacles under there, having kids or birthing something into this world. Let me see what your romance angels have to say. Guys, for the extended, I'm going to clarify this with Tarot. And then we're going to see you taking a risk. We're going to see what could possibly potentially happen, how your person feels about you or the actions he's going to take or she is going to take towards you. Um, and then we're also going to go uh, from Aries all the way to Pisces to see who you're dealing with. All right, so let's see what's going on here. At the bottom of the deck, let go of control issues. Yeah, you're trying to, you're doing this like Knight of Pentacles thing. You're, you're moving slow and now you've completely paused. Um, but you're trying to control the dynamic, but you shouldn't. Just trust, take a risk, like the Aries card over there. Um, love yourself first. You know that story I just told you about my friend in the summer? She's like, I fucking love myself. Apply all of that here. Love yourself first. There was a reason I said that to you. And here it is. Archangel Michael, Samuel, Raphael, all the angels of love are backing up my story by throwing this card back out at me to you. Love yourself first. That whole story I told you about my Capricorn friend? You do this too. Past life connection. You have a past life connection with this person. You've met in many lifetimes before. You could be twins, to, uh, twin flames potentially, or a soulmate. Pray you're a soulmate and not a twin flame. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know what twin flame is, please Google it. Because I can have a whole hour speech just on twin flames. And maybe one day that's what I'll do. I'll pull cards on twin flames and we'll only talk about twin flames. But not here, not now. Um, healing family issues. Yeah, this is talking about your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. It's some shit, some toxic crap your parents taught you about how relationships are to be. Or maybe some of your parents were divorced and you just didn't learn healthy habits of how, what a healthy relationship looks like. Um, and that could be potentially what's going on for you guys. Let's see what Kipper has here for you. Kipper for Virgo. Yeah, you, you've got the Eight of Swords. That's your common thread here. Feeling stuck. Not every cage is a prison. There's a way out here, okay? I promise you. Imprisonment. Some of you feel very stuck. I don't know. Maybe some of you are dealing also with somebody who's in jail. Oh, I know. But really, that talks about being stuck. Uh, and gift. Somebody's going to gift you something by the next holiday here. That's the Yuletide card. That's actually the Christmas card. But somebody's going to give you a gift. And the next holiday, I'm not going by President's Day and things like that. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be Valentine's Day. All right? So you're going to get a gift by somebody by Valentine's Day with this there. Now, let me see what your advice is. And then the rest of you guys, I will join you at Extended. And we will do the clarifications there. 
Numology deck. What are the oracle messages for my beautiful Virgos, please? Virgo, what can you give them any more advice so they can benefit from this reading? Show the world the real you at the bottom of the deck. That's the Aquarius card. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius here, but show the world the real you. That's the defending yourself card in your uh, advice. Okay, the answers you need are coming. Maybe Gemini. I'm getting all the air sign cards. This is all about communication and the air signs. Aquarius and Gemini now. The answers you need are coming. And take time to breathe out, discerning. Like you're freaking out right now. They're like, relax. The answers are coming. A little bit of communication. Show the world the real you, Virgo. And you will be good to go. This is your reading, my beautiful Virgos. Leave me comments before, below. Like, share, subscribe. Share with other Virgos. And those of you that are members, I'll see you over at Extended.